Hello primary school students! This is a Google tutorial just for you. Today, in this web, in this screencast, you are going to learn about different Boolean search strategies and a few other strategies to use with Google. You can learn about how to use AND, OR, quotations, the NOT sign and word, as well as in title and in URL all strategies to use with Google. Okay, The first thing that we're going to look at is the AND. Okay, Let's say if you were to type into the Google search window Peru water pollution. What you are telling Google is this. You are looking for Peru and water and pollution. Okay, So let's see how many hits we get if we type Peru water pollution into Google. Go copy and paste. All right, okay. A million six hundred forty thousand. Not necessarily what we're looking for. We're looking for something much smaller. Um, let's see what what else we can try here. Now, if we another strategy is to use the or sign or or. So if we type in Peru or water pollution, what we're telling Google, how you understand Google understands. We're typing in, it means that we're looking for Peru anywhere in the body of the website, anywhere on the website, or we're looking for water anywhere on the website, and pollution. Okay, so let's see what happens if we copy and paste and put that into Google. Okay, we went from a million to a hundred and four million, which actually makes sense because we said Peru is fine, water is fine, and pollution. That's what we were telling Google. Okay, let's try something else. Let's use quotations. Now, quotations have a really nice feature with, function with Google in that by using quotations, I am telling Google that. I want to find the word water and pollution sitting right next to each other on a page. Okay? They have to be next to each other. Water first, pollution second. I want that phrase, water, pollution. So if I type in Peru water pollution, really I'm typing in Peru and water pollution. Let's see what happens to our results when we put this into Google. We're at 104 million, mind you. Okay, we go down to 598,000 results. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now looking at our results, water pollution, Peruvian times, Peru, water isn't for everyone, environment, Peru, problem farming, environmental problems in Peru, water pollution, mining, Peru, um, environmental issues, Peru, Wikipedia, Peru still faces severe challenges in water supply, sanitation, water pollution, Peru, um, thousands march to protect water. Okay, so it's caused by mining. Let's see here. We have a couple, a couple of hits that are related to mining. So let's see what we can do to get that out. Um, Google also functions in that if we use the word not or if we use the minus sign and then the term it tells Google that we don't want that word anywhere in the web page. Okay, so let's say that we typed in Peru, water pollution, in quotations, and not mining. So what we're telling Google, so we want Peru and water pollution right next to each other, and not mining. So let's see what we get. Copy and paste. Copy, copy, copy. Okay, we have check our results. Let's see what happens when we put it in there. Okay, we just went down to 243,000. Not bad, not bad. Now let's see, let's, let's learn some more strategies so that we can mix and match here in the future. Okay, this is a great strategy, the in title strategy. In title allows us to look for any search term in the title of the web document. So for example, if I were to type in Peru in title, colon, notice how I have no space here. There's no space. 
quotation mark, water pollution, end quotation mark. What I'm telling Google is that I want Peru and water pollution in the title of the web document. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see what happens when I put that in there. Okay, here we go. Let's watch our results. Whoa, we just went down to 20,900 results. Okay, so we're getting lower, getting lower. There's one more strategy I want to show you. Okay, here we have the UR in URL. So this allows us to look for a specific term in the URL of a website. Now here we have Peru water pollution. Again, we're looking for Peru and water pollution. Water sitting right next to pollution. And in the URL, I want .gov or .gov. Now what that tells me is that it's going to come from a government page. Okay, let's see. Government pages are, are highly useful because there's a lot of organizations that do research for governments and then the government, mainly the US government, um, publishes that page. Not just the US, but other governments do as well. So let's let's see what happens when we put that in there. Okay. Eight hundred and forty two results. Okay. Not bad. So it went down significantly. Now the question is, would I be able to mix and match these strategies here using and or quotation marks not in title and in URL could I mix and match those so I get down to less than 50 results an effective researcher can now there's a number of other strategies that you will learn once you go to secondary school um, how to use parentheses um, how to find the number of links per pages there's a lot more to Google searching that you will learn about. But for elementary school, this is more than enough. And this will help you greatly in your PYP exhibition. Have a great day. I hope that this works for you. And happy searching.